people are not happy in Embakasi East constituency because of what happened. That is uh, complete negligence and the government owes Kenyans a duty of care to protect them. And therefore the government is directly liable or can also be vicariously liable to what happened to Kenyans in Embakasi's constituency. It is quite shameful that when fire conflagration engulfed the great people of Embakasi East constituency, Ruto was and is still busy sitting on his hands. It is shameful that people lack houses in Embakasi East constituency and the president is leaving the country, going to another country to fight for the interest of a foreign nation. It is shameful that people don't have food to eat in Embakasi's constituency, clothes to put on in Embakasi's constituency, while the president is running away from this challenge instead of facing this challenge. They did lie to us that they would bring some uh, money, financial support, when Rigadi visited the area within one hour after his visit, but up to date, there is nothing that has been done. Are these people not Kenyans? And it is shameful if a president can live in the middle of a crisis in his country, not properly addressed, living and going to another country, while the president of Tanzania left a foreign trip, left a foreign country, when she heard that there was flood, that his people were dying because of floods. So... She left the COP28, went back to Tanzania. In our case, the president is leaving, running away from his country, running away from the challenge, running away from the hustlers. Do we really have a president or we have a resident? That's all I can say, and I want to ask Kenyans to still continue praying for the people of Mbakasi's constituency. The great support that we've been given by His Excellency Raila Molo Dinga, His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, the Azimio leaders and fellow Kenyans. We did our best. We went round hospitals in uh, Kenyatta University Hospital. We found 16 patients who were admitted. Each, we gave them some financial support. In Kenyatta National Hospital, we got 34 who were still admitted. We gave them financial support as Azimio. And then there are 49 who are IDPs at Embakasi Social Law. We gave them financial support. There are those whom we've not sorted yet, who went to different, uh, who went to, to be accommodated by their relatives. We have your money. We are going to send this money. We are working on the final list. And I believe that by God's grace, we shall help the great people of Mbakasi East constituency. Thank you. Well done.